<laughs> you gotta love this man. You gotta love him. You can't hate him. He doesn't talk much, but he loves kicking ass. We need to finish him off now. This would be perfect for this episode. Right in the heart. Right in the heart. Sexy. 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 Are you serious? Oh my god, are you serious? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we do episode 14 of Mobile Suit Gundam 00 Season 2. In the last episode, we saw Celestial being destroyed the Memento Mori. Uh, it was very crazy, very chaotic. We had to leave it up to Lock On to shoot an impossible shot, but he did it. He lived up to the name as Lock On Stratus, even used his other brothers like Colin Carr. With a little help of Nima, since he was able to escape, as well as take out one of the Green Innovator's machines. Looks like she has multiple of that one, because it was destroyed twice. He destroyed two of them. Um, I'm not exactly sure. He's gonna have another one to come back and fight, but the innovators, they are being bested by the Transam system as well as the Double O Riser. Two things that the innovators had no idea existed. Which is good, you gotta have some kind of trump cards in the end. At the end of the episode, besides the Middle East being say, we did meet a guy named Hercury slash Mercury with an H. And I'm not exactly sure what his plans are, but he looks like to be an old time comrade of the wild bear of Russia, Sergi. Not exactly sure where he comes to play, but seeing that's one of the old commanders that used to work with Katie Malikin is dead now. He might assume a role with her, or maybe some other kind of role with Alos. I'm not sure if he's compassionate like the wild bear of Russia, but, I mean, he is a war general, it seems like. Or maybe the commander, I don't know. But so far, it's victory. A lot of Catherine people have died, but a lot of Alos people have died as well. Saji's still trying to come to the fact that his girlfriend is now on the Alos team. He knows it's the fall of the Gundam, but he doesn't know what else to do with himself. Um, but besides all of that, um, there's only one way to find out what's going to happen next. That's to jump into the next episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and yeah. Boop, boop. Don't Wallame live on that belt? We pulled it off. And it's all thanks to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how Celestial Being fights its battles. <gasps> Something on the east end, sir! What? Enemy machine! You may have destroyed the Memento Mori, but you're going to pay for that. Gotta go. Damn! We can't let him win? They all walk away like badasses. It's been determined that the explosion in geostationary satellite orbit was the result of an attack by anti-government forces. Bullshit. So the memento mori has fallen. We did wipe out nearly all of Catheron's space forces. In order to unite the world and bring about a permanent peace, Celestial Being and its members must be completely destroyed. See, now they're trying to bring on peace. Anti-government forces might be inspired and possibly regain their vigor. Carry on. Sir. Carry on with what? The rendezvous point should be around here. They're in trouble. Uh, it can't be. What the fuck? Wait a minute, what? Where's Ptolemy? Uh, that machine has red GN particles. What the fuck just happened? Hi. Nana Trinity. Nana likes what she sees. She did get a kiss. Your ship fell to Earth. I just sent over the data from the battle. Huh? Hey, don't rush off. He's not into you. He's not into you. Hey, he's right. But... <laughs> you didn't come all the way out to the Middle East just to see me. There's some information I want to pass on to you. There's a movement within the military aimed at pulling off some kind of coup d'etat. Wow. Well, be careful about this I know information. There are a lot of people who are starting to have second thoughts about the federal government's policies. But to actually consider it coup d'etat? You know as well as I do, the government has been reduced to a mere puppet of the Allies. <gasps> He's right. People need to open their eyes and see what's happening, Sergey. Okay, I, I was wrong about this guy. I was wrong. He's trying to do a coup inside of the government, which makes sense because the A laws are taking over shit. But damn. Oh my god, bro. This is like a horror movie. Waking up, seeing everything kind of destroyed. He's walk. He walked right outside. He must have crash landed on Earth. What? What? What, what the hell is going on? Anti observation optical camouflage restored. Now deploying. Okay, they lived, but damn, at what cost? So you're saying you activated the double O riser and chased away the enemies at LaGrange 3, but you were caught by a surprise attack and fell to Earth where you somehow made an emergency landing. 
And on top of that, you don't know the whereabouts of Setsuna and the double O riser. That's it exactly! It sounds like a disaster! <laughs> don't say that, old man. We did destroy the satellite weapon. Furthermore, the enemy forces even deployed a new mobile armor when they ambushed us. It was Sumeragi Lee Noriega's idea to use the force of the impacts from the shots to accelerate down to Earth. Nice. While at the same time concealing the ship with smoke. If it wasn't for her quick thinking, make her look like they're killed. It been finished for sure. All right, what's Ptolemy's condition now? Fuck. The engines are fine, but the navigation, oh. weapons control, communications, and sensor systems have all suffered significant damage. No, oh, give me strength. If the enemy attacked us now, we'd be done for. The satellite weapon was destroyed, but we were pretty heavily damaged. In the worst case, we might have to ask your branch for help. Perfect. Thank you. Huh? Let's see what's going on. Who Fuck are you her. To just now? Don't tell her. Just some minor business. Thank God. I've been wondering, huh? how were the Allahs able to figure out precisely where the Talamiles would be? Now she's playing the spy. Ah, I see. So you're suspicious of me, Ms. Returner? That's how she blows it off of Goodness, her. No, it's just something that's been puzzling me. Oh, and by the way, you can call me Anu if you want to. Hmm. Anu, huh? Well, in that case, you can call me Lyle. Huh? Lal Delandi. That's what my real name is. He's macking on the girl that's trying to kill him all. <sighs> hey man, you get her back. He's flying like, where the hell is he? Still no response from Ptolemy. In a snowy space though. Oh no, he just visited this, that- This crater is from the satellite weapon. More evidence of the kind of atrocity the innovators can inflict. Good thing you stopped it. The duck with the oh shit! What the hell is that? Let it go! Don't chase it. Him again? Let it what go. the hell is he doing here? Don't do it! <laughs> Follow me, punk. Ah! Uh, I don't know how much GM power. The got. Federation forces is planning a coup d'état. My source is an old friend of mine from when I was a reporter. He's about as reliable as they come. What the hell? This song is. I know. I understand the song was written with phrases Princess Marina collected from the children. Singing songs at a time like this. She's probably the only one giving the kids hope. Damn it, I wish he didn't fight him. I, I honestly wish he didn't. Where the hell are you going? What's in this direction? Danger. This is Krugis. No. Okay, alright. You might need to follow him now. What the fuck? Oh, he's bossy. He's he's badass. What the hell is he doing? Shoot him out! What are you up to? The hell are y'all such as? Blast him! Well, it's sure been a while, hasn't it, Krugis Punk? Ali Al Sanchez, bastard, you're with the innovators? You got that right. Hold on, oh, no. I brought you here because there's somebody who wants to meet you. Allow me to introduce my sponsor. Don't tell me it's that guy. Oh my god. He wants to capture the Gundam. What the hell are you doing? Get back in the ship and run. Are you an innovator? I am. My name is Ribbons Allmark. It's been a long time, Setsuna F. Seye. Or Seye. rather, Soran Ibrahim. I mean, of course he knows your real name. He's an that's innovator. That's right. To you, this is the first we've met. But what? that's not the case for me. What? I first met you 11 years ago. Don't tell me. Yes. Right here. Don't tell me. In this hellhole of a battlefield where foolish humans were fighting each other. Don't. I was watching you. From the vantage point of a mobile suit cockpit. I knew it! He was the Gundam! What do you think? He was the one that you look up to! Isn't that crazy? You were in that machine? In the O Gundam? No way, that's a lie. Don't believe him. That armed intervention was a performance test of the O Gundam. Naturally, the plan was to dispose of every witness at the location so as to maintain secrecy. But then on the spur of the moment, oh. I spared your life. You were supposed to die. Because of the look in your eyes as you stared at the O Gundam. At me. Wow, this changes everything. And that's not all. It was I who used Veda to recommend you as a Gundam Meister. This is crazy. He could be lying. 
But what if he's telling the truth, dude? Whoa! I, he's the reason you're here! And you're on opposing sides. What the fuck? Are you waiting for me to thank you? Yeah. Now that your services are no longer needed, I thought it was about time you returned that to me. I am the legitimate pilot of that machine. Kind of. It does have old Gundam stuff in it. Sorry! I refuse! This sucks. This sucks big time. <laughs> Get the fuck out of there, man. Was that on purpose? Sorry, boss. Fine, man. Do as you like. He didn't kill him. He could have killed him, though. I've got gonna... bad news, folks. Two unidentified mobile suits are coming at us from different directions. Okay, Felt. Have Alleluia and Tiaria sortie. Roger. Once again, they know where we are. Sarah, you're an idiot. I mean, she's not an idiot, but she. But what if she doesn't know? Alleluia, haptism. What if she doesn't know? Operation. I doubt it. What if she doesn't know? Oh my god, dude. He's already weak with one. Oh my god. Fighting with one arm. How's that shoulder of yours feeling? This is probably fair. Because old Gundam is too powerful, but with one arm. Ali and Ted says he likes to fight. But now. Oh my god. Is that right? Nice. You need to get the hell out of there, bro. Still dodging with that injury? <laughs> This dude's a fucking mode. It's a bombardment. Fuck. Type. Even without Hallelujah, I can still. Damn it, you might need. In the atmosphere, he has the advantage in mobility. Who's he fighting, though? Ah, the red one. Double O had trouble with this. Even if you have Vader on your side, it doesn't matter. You are an innovator! But they're fast. Damn it. They keep cutting this bitch off. How many times we got to replace that? Yeah, he's trying to bring him back to the bad side. He's strong. This is the power of the innovators. Who's on the right side? Who's on the wrong side? That's what I want to know. He's going to go see the army that might be a setup. beginning to spread further. What's wrong, princess? I was just thinking about how nice it would be if everyone could hear our song. Then we gotta sing it for them! You know, you're right. He was just cleaning up fast. I'm not happy about destroying one of us, but I must carry out my mission! One thing about military men, not military men, but military people, like, they have a mission, they're gonna take it out with guards. Field go. He did that on purpose to get closer so he can blast you! Oh, whoa. Huh? It's Trans Am. What are you gonna That's do? That's all you've got then! <sighs> what are you doing? This isn't like what happened with Nodley. I revealed this form by my own free will! A smaller Gundam? <laughs> <laughs> this is Seraphim Gundam! What a beast. What? Field on. Right through that bitch. Destroying your own kind! No! I am a human being! <laughs> Kill him! What a fucker! Bring, what a fucker! Bring somebody, run! What a beast! I know I love Tiaria. You're getting carried away here. Withdraw. What's this? No, 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 no! No, 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 Did no. it come to escort us? No, no, no. <laughs> These people are my hostages. One false move and I'll... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a little too small talk, bro. He don't give a fuck. I love Sensuna, man. That dude, he's like, what? Wait, wait where'd he go? Oh my God, Sensuna. You gotta love this man. You gotta love him. You can't hate him. He doesn't talk much, but he loves kicking ass. We need to finish him off now. This would be perfect for this episode. Right in the heart! Right in the heart! Setsu, 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 Setsu. Are you serious? He was gonna finish him! Oh my god, are you serious? Did you stop him? I don't know anymore, bro. I can hear some kind of song. 
Wait, can they hear it too? Can everyone hear it? I think everyone can hear it. What a way to end an episode, bro. Okay, what the fuck? Oh my god, that's in it. That's that mobile armor. This one's a mobile armor. It's called the Empress. The Empress. I think in my ass. This is the I'm prototype back. of a machine that will eventually be yours. A token of appreciation from Ribbon's Allmark. Hmm. They want is you to die. Yes, it's finally done. Your new custom machine. I can see a resemblance to the flag. He's back, but god damn. So many reasons to fight. Ah, oh, his love. Dude, you gotta let it go. Oh, okay, I was just kidding, god damn. To the wind. Everyone's giving up the past for another future. Goodbye, Cujo, forever. <laughs> what an episode, what an episode. Episode 14, what an episode. <sighs> Man, I mean, it was a beautiful song. The kids were cheering it. It was a song of hope. Setsuna went through hell, man. Lost his crew. Doesn't know where if his crew's even dead or alive. He can't contact them. Flying through space. You see Ali Sanchez chases him. Go back to Krugis, his hometown. Finds out the god, technically god, the guy he looked up to, the guy in the Gundam was Ribbons. The All Might, the, like the innovator. He was the guy who saved him from dying and everyone else around him by destroying all the enemies. He come to find out that Gundam's job was to kill him, leave no trace, including the kids. He, so he's like, what the hell's going on? Obviously, we don't know if he's telling the truth or not. So soon was like, what am I supposed to do, thank you? Um, and then he realized that Ribbons kind of recommended him to become a Gundam Meister. So where the hell is there so the more Ribbon, the more he talks, Ribbon's talk, it kind of feels like maybe he's still trying to do, like, fill out, like, the plan that was set by him, by his masters, but at the same time, is he a good guy or is he a bad guy? It sounds like Celestial Beam, it might be the bad team, because they, like, split off from the original plan, and then, um, I don't know, I don't even, I'm not even gonna touch that anymore. All I know is Ali Sanchez was inches away from death, but that song saved him. And he's able to escape. I don't know where everyone's getting these freaking escape pods at, but everyone got these escape pods. They just fly away. It's kind of crazy though. Everyone's doing it. Um, I just wish you know some of our team can make those. You know, that's kind of why. You know, cause I don't want them dying like that. And besides that, um, Anu, uh, that's her name now. Anu, she doesn't know that she's transmitting data to where they are. Either that she doesn't know, or she's pretending she doesn't know. But she's definitely a plant by the innovators to, you know, to get into there and to be on their team and stuff like that. It makes sense because Ribbons have access to everything. So, of course, she'll make a plant. I'm not exactly sure if she knows she's causing the harm or not. But she's effing up a lot of things for a lot of people. This episode surprised me. The fighting was good. Setsuna still kicks ass with Double O Riser. Even if he has, only has one arm. Lock on still macking on girls no matter who they are. Don't really know their, their history, but he's still macking on them. Uh, besides that, man, this episode was pretty, pretty deep. I don't know what's gonna happen next, but I do know one thing. <sighs> I know people are gonna have to die. <laughs> but yeah, before we get to the next episode, the last thing I wanna say is I wonder what Nima's ultimate goal is. Still don't know. She's still in love with Setsuna. I really like him. You know, Katagiri, he gave up his love for Miss Sumeragi. He was like, yo, it's over. Ripped up the paper. I don't care what happens. Our favorite boy is coming back too. He got a new Gundam as well. Not sure if he's gonna still go with the ninja slash samurai theme, but... He's gonna get ready to fight again. Overall, these all these episodes were awesome. I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm looking forward to the next episode. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and until the next one, peace.